What's going on everyone? Look behind me. I finally got my new grill. I'm so used to cooking on my big green egg. I've had that for about six years. And uh, I just took delivery this past Friday uh, of my new Kamado Joe 3 Classic. Um, it was on order for like four weeks and finally got it. Um, a little late past Memorial Day, but I'm glad I finally got it. And so um, if you look behind me, I have my entire system installed now. So Kamado Joe 3 Classic, large big green egg that I bought in 2014. And my, um, it's covered up right now, but that is my Rectech uh, Trailblazer. I was on the fence about whether or not to buy another Kamado. And um, to be honest, the um, Kamado Joe is actually the one I wanted initially. Um, but after looking at price and whatnot, I ended up landing on a sale that uh, Ace Hardware had on the um, Big Green Egg. And so um, they both are Kamados. They both cook the same, but I'm a super huge fan of all the accessories that come along with the uh, Kamado Joe 3. So let me show you some of those accessories. What I really like about this is the stainless steel latch here. When you click the latch, kind of spring loads open, super easy to lift. All right, so now we're looking at the divide and conquer system they have in place. So as you notice, there are different heights I have this set at. Um, this is the highest setting. This one is at the lowest setting. And uh, if you look down below, I actually have some charcoal in there where I did um, the initial burning. in. Um, but what I like about this is that it's uh, super easy to sear something on this side and then move to this side. Um, I'll show it in another video, but there are also um, heat, uh, heat deflectors that go in. So you can actually put a heat deflector down here closer to the fire. And that way, any meat you move over to that side will not have direct flame. Um, so this divide and conquer system is, is really awesome. Another thing I find really cool is this um, hinge system. I'll show you the hinge on the back, but you can really easily adjust the height, like just with the fingers, not heavy at all. And it's multi-level, right? Set it, set it at any setting you want, and it'll stay there. And that is courtesy of this new hinge system. It's back there in the back, right there. Another thing I really like is this cap here. Um, many different ways to adjust. You can open it for maximum airflow that way. You can also close it up. You can adjust here yep, as needed or close it up. What I really like is uh, when it rains, I really don't have an issue now worried about rainwater going to the top because it's protected. This is one of my favorite items as well, is this super huge, easy to read um, thermometer. Man, down below I have some accessories um, that I'll show in a later video. That's what the accessory they call the slow roller. Um, yeah, so this thing is it's pretty awesome. So, Hey guys, so please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna give a much more in-depth review of the Kamado Joe 3. More important is I'm going to do a comparison between the large green egg that I've had for six years and the Kamado Joe 3, why I chose to upgrade. Um, I'll also explain to you why I don't plan on getting rid of the large green egg. And finally, why is it that I have a pellet grill when I also have these other grills? And so I want to get those questions answered for you. Um, I promise it's not because I'm greedy. You know, in my case, I've been waiting and saving up for a long time. Finally, able to get these. And I'll give you guys a more in-depth review as to um, why I went down this path and how I ended up with these grills. So thank you all. Please subscribe to my channel. Be back at you soon. Thank you.